Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So, on that note, let's start the video. This is week 4 solutions for data mining course. So friends, uh, please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video, you may miss some valuable content or any answer uh, that is changed in between. So please watch full video. And moving on to the first question. Which of the following statement is true about Bayes classifier? So for first question, the probable answer is option D. It always provides the lowest possible error when class distributions are estimated. So mark option D. Friends, uh, for the first question and fourth question, I am giving the probable answers. And for remaining questions, uh, the answers I will give are exactly correct. So for first and fourth question, uh, I hope these are also correct. But uh, if you know the exact answer, you can comment in the comment section. I believe these are the correct answer for first and fourth question. And there is no doubt regarding the other questions. The, they, those are exactly correct. So before the submission uh, moment, once again, watch the video, sec video comments. So if I change any answer, I will update in the comment section particularly regarding the first and fourth questions so maximum these two questions are also correct but uh, if there is any accuracy you can comment in the comment section whether my solution is correct or I have to change so anyone of you know please comment in the comment section the first question probable solution is option D and for second question let A be an example and C be a class the probability is known as so for second question the exact correct answer is option B a posteriori probability so mark option B as correct answer for second question and moving on to third question let a be an example and C be a class the probability P of C is known as so for third question, the exact answer is option A, a priori probability. And moving on to the fourth question. Consider a binary classification problem with two classes C1 and C2. The uh, class labels of 10 other training set instances sorted in increasing order of increasing order of their distance to an instance x are as follows so they gave 10 training instances so they how will a k is equals 3 nearest neighbor classifier classify x so these are the increasing order of the distances from x so first three are nearest to x in that mostly we get two c1 classes and one c2 classes so it will be probably considered as C1. So I think option B is the probable answer. Guys, I have already said that first and fourth questions are uh, uh, somewhat uh, doubt. So if you are agreeing with my these two probable solutions, please comment in the comment section. Uh, if you if you know the other answer. You can please comment in the comment section. So we will try to give the best answer to our viewers. So for fourth question my probable answer is option D. And moving on to the fifth question. According to the following graph. What should be the appropriate value of K. If K and N algorithm is used. So for fifth question. The exact answer is option B. That is 10. Because if you see here, they are asking the pro appropriate value of k in k and n algorithm means nearest uh, neighbor. So for k value at this point is nearest. So 10 is the correct answer. So mark option B. And moving on to sixth question. Which of the following will be Euclidean distance between the data points 1, 3 and 2, 3? Guys, we know that 
the Euclidean algorithm x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square under the square root. This all comes under single square root. So 2 minus 1 square plus 3 minus 3 square under the square root. So answer will be 1. So uh, mark option A as correct answer for 6th question. <coughs> and moving on to the 7th one. Which of the following will be the Manhattan distance between the two data points? And they, they have given the same data point but they are asking Manhattan distance. We know that the formula for Manhattan dis distance mod x1 minus x2 plus mod y1 minus y2. Here the mod uh, resembles the outcome should be only positive value. So because distance is a positive value. It, ha it don't have negative value. So x1 minus x2 that means or uh, here x1 means 1 x2 means 2. So 1 minus 2 in inside the mod plus 3 minus 3. So the answer is again 1. So mark option A as correct answer for 7th question also. Here in this case for the two data points both Euclidean distance and Manhattan distance is same. That is option A 1. And moving on to 8th question. You are given the following set of training examples where X and Y are the two inputs and class is the target. What would be the target class of the data point x equal to 1 using Euclidean distance in 3NN? So for 8th question, the exact answer is option A, class plus. So the correct answer for 8th question is option A, class plus. And moving on to the ninth one. What would be the class if 7NN is used? So instead of 3NN, if we have used 7NN, what would be the answer? That is the question they are asking. So for ninth question, the answer is, the exact answer is option B, class minus. So mark option B as correct answer for ninth question. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th one. In the following figure, you are given the distances between the two points, A x1 y1 and B x2 y2. So they have given the options and they are asking which of the statement is true. So the exact answer for 10th question is option B. The left, left is Euclidean distance. This is the Euclidean distance. And the right one is, I mean, the right side diagram is Manhattan distance. So the option is B. So mark option B as correct answer for 10th question. So friends, these are the solutions for week 4 data mining course. I have also done video on week 3, you can view that. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you know the uh, exact correct answer for first and four questions, please comment and remaining solutions are 100% correct. So before submission, once again check the video comments to get the updated answer. So if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. So for further more videos, keep supporting our channel. Until then, thank you. Goodbye.